Hi Greedy 3D is now I'm up for a bargain like the rest of you and the other day I came across this Sunlu resin on Amazon for £33.17 for two kilograms that's like £16 something or other per kilogram um, that's an amazing price normally I spend £25-£26 per kilogram of any cubic basic and about the same if not a bit more for the Elegoo so I thought I'd try it I did ask a few few of you on there what you thought of it and the replies that I got were all positive so I'm going to try this Sunlu uh, it's just a basic one and I it's the basic white I believe I haven't even opened it yet so let's open it up let's have a look and I'm going to try it now what I am going to do I'm not going to change my settings I'm using my Saturn S and I'm going to use the settings that have been so far really really productive with any cubic um, resin I'm going to try it with Sunlu see what happens what we got to lose let's crack it open and have a look Oh, now that's interesting. Filters, free filters, free filters, and thirty-three pound for two kilograms. You can't moan at that. Reasonably good packaging. It's all come. Oh. There it is. It's definitely what it says on the tin. It's two kilograms of resin. I think the best thing to do really would be to just get it into the printer. Let's have a look, see how it pours. Let's see how it compares to the others in the pourability factor. And, uh, and we'll try and print something. I'm going to print a base for my Thanos bust. So it's quite a complicated, big print. What better way than to get straight in there? Let's pour it in. quick sniff you know what that that does not smell too bad at all let's pour it in okay so it's a little bit runnier than some of the other resins I'm used to not drastically so but it's a little bit runnier but that doesn't really mean anything does it well there you go we've hit the fill let's get the lid on so there's 500 mils of this beautiful stuff in there and there you go for anyone that doubted the price, £33.14 for two kilograms. Wow, I'll put a link in the description where you can get some yourself. Okay, so let's make the Sunlu earn its money. This is the Thanos based from Wicked Designs. Really intricate. It's printed in one piece with absolutely no failures there. And let's get it off the build plate and just see how hard it is to pop off. Well, a little bit of a scraper and pop, off it comes. So I've got no real dramas with that. Supports felt relatively normal. They came off really easily. Sometimes I have to heat it up. I didn't on this occasion, but they came off as I would have expected it to. I'm just giving it a wash in some IPA, and that definitely did the trick to keep it nice and clean. Um, I've used a brush just to get into the nooks and crannies, as you would do with any print. I can't say so far I've found any problem. Giving it a cure with a UV light, as I would normally, just for a couple of minutes exactly be the same as everything else making sure you do the whole model of course now I've compared it to another one that I've printed on my any using any cubic resin and on the settings that I've used on my Saturn S I have to say the quality on the Sunlu of this compared to the any cubic it's a little bit of a less detailed print now if I show you the comparison, you'll see exactly what I mean. Yes, I know the other one is failed, but this is them both. I did spray it grey to try to give you a better comparison. That is the Sunlu on the right there. And if we just have a quick look at it, you'll see that some of the details are a little bit less defined. And you probably need to compare with the Anycubic to see that. Now, I'm not actually saying this is the resin's fault i think this is the settings fault so we probably need to tweak it a little bit but again if you just look at what the any cubic has produced there on the settings that i've used and we go across you can see that it's it's just not as detailed it's all printed wonderfully but there is considerably less detail again i think this is a settings issue rather than an actual issue with the resin itself so you know you're going to need to do a little bit of tweaking on there 
Let's have a look at something else. Here I've printed the Poison Ivy bust from Berserk Studios and I have to say, using exactly the same settings again, this one has come out really, really lovely. And I did the second part here. I absolutely packed the build plate and everything is printed absolutely perfectly on my Saturn S. So I can't complain at that. If we just have a closer look at the detail, um, I think that is really good. I don't think it's a renders. It probably does need some tweaking and I'm definitely going to print a few calibration cubes and play with the settings. I'm not going to talk about that with you guys. You'll have to do that yourself. But a um, couple of breakages there, but I've had breakages in other ones and they're quite narrow parts and perhaps that's just me being a little bit heavy handed. But overall, the print quality on this Poison Ivy bust is, is perfectly fine. Absolutely brilliant. And so I am really really happy with the outcome and again everything is printed wonderfully all in one go okay so what's my thoughts now i've played with this resin and made a fair few models so let's bring it back it was 33 pound 14 for two liters that's the cheapest resin i've ever used now i've had to buy this resin i haven't been given it by sunlu it has come out of my own wonga so don't think they're paying me to do this review because they're not um it's a little bit runnier than other resins no real drama there it's definitely less smelly than the other resins i find that when i've been cleaning with it and using it it doesn't smell half as bad as the any cubic or the yellow goose so that is a bonus it's printed relatively well um okay the quality compared to the any cubic on my saturn s using the same settings were a little bit hit and miss but i don't think that's down to the resin i think that's down to the settings so i'm going to do some calibration i'm not going to talk too much about that because you're going to have to do your own calibration if you use it but if you try the settings you're using on your own resin it's not working you might need to tweak it but i do not think that's down to the resin at all that's just down to settings and playing with resin printers as we know the quality okay it's fine there's no problems with the quality at all is it any more brittle than the others i've heard other people say that well i had a couple of breakages but i've had a couple of breakages before I don't intend to start dropping my models and smashing them off the floor. I can't see the point of that. I make a model, I put it on the shelf and hopefully it stays on the shelf and that's fine. So for me, well, let me tell you that I've just bought this again. That's the second one. That's not the same one. That's the second one. I'm so impressed with it for £33. And let's put it into this context. When you're 3D printing and when you're printing loads and loads of things, cost factors come into it. If you can get nearly twice as much resin for the same price and it's not bad resin, why wouldn't you do it? So from a greedy 3D perspective, yeah, thumbs up to Sunlu Resin. I will definitely be using it again. It will be my resin of choice. And that price is just amazing. I hope you found today useful. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel. Please think about joining the Patreon. And uh, I'll see you next time for some more greedy 3D, 3D printing madness in the next episode. Mm -hmm.